this um opening up all this makeup i just bought i heard that what is this oh my neighbor gave me this what make you think i'm going to use the lipstick that you i, I don't borrow makeup i took it i'm gonna throw this away my neighbor gave me some lipstick and she already used it girl i'm not trying to have your lips on me so anyway um y'all some of my makeup dried out because it had been so long since I used it. I mean, I already wasn't wearing makeup. This baby's on his go-kart. I already wasn't wearing makeup. And then like, lately, yeah, not happening. So I'm opening up some new makeup I just bought. Yeah, I need to actually go through my makeup and get rid of some stuff. So y'all, um, it's JB's birthday. Y'all, I've been crying all day. I am such, I'm an empath, first of all. Y'all know this, you know me, but I cry. Um, So I was worshiping this morning and just thinking about how good God has been. Even though 2021 came in here and acted a fool, God is so good. Yeah, he, he is a comforter and, you know, I was listening to a couple of songs, just, just worshiping in the spirit and it, it was poured on my heart to share that as we go to God for comfort that we still remain um or be open to comforting others and I know that could be hard sometimes especially and I wrote this in my the community tab I shared the post in a, a scripture from second Corinthians um when your world is upside down, when you are in the midst of the storm, quote unquote, you don't want to comfort people. You you want to be comforted. You want to be loved on. But that's when we should be comforting people. Okay, um, God sees that, and so go ahead and just just do it. And if it's on your heart and you feel convicted to do it, please um, do that. You never know how you can bless someone. Okay, girl, I need. <sighs> I need to wash these. These things are not going to be dry. What time is it, y'all? We're going to go out to eat tonight. I, I persuaded my husband, girl, in more ways than one. But no. <laughs> I know y'all thinking, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Um, we are going to, um, because I'm telling y'all, we have not been outside of our neighborhood. God, when is the last time in months? But when I tell y'all we do not go, I had a, a, a girlfriend, she's from, um, she flew in from New York and she's like, if you ever on this side of town, I have not been at, on the East Valley in a year almost. Yeah, we don't go anywhere. If we go, we go up to Scottsdale, which is 30 minutes away or Glendale, but we have not been outside of our neighborhood in a minute unless we have, unless I have an appointment somewhere. We don't do that anymore, y'all. But. Um, even with us going to Papados, Papados is, is within 15 miles, 15 minutes. So, uh, I told my husband when JB and I went last year, um, when did we go? We went a couple of months back too. They had pex plexiglass separating the booths. I was like, oh, I could do that. And everybody had on masks. There was even people who were sitting there <laughs> waiting on their food and they still had on mask, mask, which is good. Um... And it's the baby's birthday. That's the only reason why we're going out to eat. Um, there are so many people. Who was that? Who's that YouTuber, y'all, that's having house parties? Is it Vong TV? I'm going to name drop. I don't care. I'm not saying anything out of, out of pocket. Vong TV. I'm subscribed to her. She had, Did she have a Halloween party? She had a Halloween party. She's had a dinner party. That's brave. Like, I don't even do that in general. But, like, we ha had... Uh, the same people that we always see over for JB's, uh, y'all saw the babies that I keep. That's so we didn't invite anybody new, but she's had, she, I don't know if she's still doing it. And I know they are dragging her or they were dragging her on Lipstick Alley. She has had several gatherings in the middle of a pandemic. And I, I guess she's, you know, following protocol and it's under 10 people. Mm-mm. Like... No, no, you gotta be careful. So, you know, she can do whatever she wants. She's a grown woman, but. So anyway, y'all, I heard this snowing in Texas and I saw um, pictures, you know, I still, of course, 
half of the people on my friends list on Facebook are from Texas. So I saw all the snow. Y'all, it's so cold. It's cold here in Phoenix. What the hell? Oh, hell. It was on clearance at, um, what's the name for $2? Yeah, now since I'm not going anywhere, now I'm back shopping. And Christine told me all the stuff she bought. And I'm like, okay. She told me I, I, I tapped into my inner Vivian and started. I said, no, you didn't. No, don't blame me. And <laughs> she got some stuff. What is this stuff, y'all? What the hell? Who the hell touched my makeup with their greasy hands? I'm going to wipe that off. I don't know why. And I got this matte. LA colors this is old yeah see I'm gonna have to go through all my makeup and start trashing stuff oh to see all this stuff in here all this stuff is new see this is not even open let me open this up all right y'all but look y'all I am concerned and so I'm going to be pinning a comment I need for y'all to check in like there are so many subscribers of mine that I have not heard from in a long time and I'm getting concerned plush fur is one of them um and I haven't heard from her unless you sis I hope you did you change your username because sometimes can you even do that anymore because I remember you used to be able to change it plush fur there's another woman who you used to have a name and then years ago you couldn't get into that account and so now you use your daughter's account i believe you're black latino because you watch michiwichi i haven't heard from her i haven't heard from Mar marlene g who's in belgium i know belgium went on the wraps i haven't heard from what is her name righteous i need for people to check in like you don't you just say you good in the comment section y'all i need for y'all to check in and let me know i saw chocolate Cap capricorn um she's still been writing whitney is another one whitney i remember you you have waist with long hair i'm concerned y'all um i need to know how natasha i believe your, that's your name sis um i believe you told me that your mom was in icu with covid for weeks I need, uh, yeah, I just need to know. You don't have to give me all the details. I just need to know how you guys are doing. Cause just, you know, write down and let me know you're okay. You're here. You don't have to do a huge, you know, check in. I just need to make sure y'all are okay. You know what I mean? Cause we're, we're going into a new year. You don't know what happened. I have no idea. Y'all look at this. Excuse me. Hold on. NYX liquid suede. What does this look like? My lips are already dark. The hell Vivian. This will look good on a white person. Actually, I would use this for, is this matte? Metallica matte. Let me see if this will work. No, I look like a crackhead. No, I, I look like, yeah, no, uh-uh, that's not good. Yeah, speaking of, so, baby. Like, y'all look, so this is something y'all don't know about me. I have to listen to something every night to stay asleep and fall asleep. Well, not necessarily stay asleep, but fall asleep. Long story short, yesterday, my earphones went missing. Now, honey, when I lose something around the house, I act like, y'all remember that episode of Martin when he had that fake dog and he, <laughs> they were recreating that scene from, um, New Jack City and she had, he had everyone dressed in black and he was throwing that dog across the table. I round up everybody like that. I'm like, I know y'all know where my stuff is at. You need to find it. You know, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to press charges. I'm not going to hurt you. Just find my stuff. And so I, I threaten them. Or not. I, you know, I accuse people on a weekly basis when my stuff comes up missing. Now, yeah, a lot of times I end up losing it. But you need to find my stuff. So they're used to me by now. <laughs> so they be talking about me my husband and jv be sitting on the couch talking about me and i hear my husband whisper he's like oh here she go again and jv's like what is she looking for and i look one of y'all know what my earphones are so we're gonna be doing my makeup and we're gonna be beating the hell out my face i'm wearing black and white look i did my nails black and white let me let them zoom in baby i took my time with this they a little messy on this side yeah your president been impeached again girl i guess it's symbolic because he out of here in a week anyway y'all phoenix is a hot mess we were gonna go um went to subway i'm priming my face went to subway to get a sandwich and lo and behold there was somebody that parked her huge truck is always a huge truck she had not two not three not four but five 
flags. She had a Blue Lives Matter flag, an American flag, a flag in the, she had all these flags, baby Trump flags, but she had a flag in the middle that said F-U-C-K Biden with a middle finger. Yeah. She walked in the entire mood change. First of all, she didn't have on a mask. Everybody up in there had on masks and they didn't even say anything to her because they're like, not today, Susan, not today. This is a jumbo milk pencil by um, NYX. I've been using this for years for my eyes. I don't know one of you helpless was like, I would like to see you in contacts. Girl, contacts are over. Yeah, I'm done with contacts. I have the worst vision, y'all. My vision is so bad. The kids were laughing at me the other day because I had my glasses off for a, a moment. My vision is horrible. I have a, a stigmatism. And when I used to drop contacts, I used to have, I would have to have my husband to come in and find them for me because I couldn't find them. Once I drop them, it's a wrap. But besides that, my vision is horrible. I, would, I just prefer to slap on some glasses and go about my way. Plus, I'm not doing anything, you know. I like my glasses. I like glasses on me. I know I, I know I look better without glasses. Please believe. I know I look better without glasses. I know. But I like my big old glasses. And I invest in, even though these are cheap, but I take the time to invest in good glasses. So, y'all, what are we going to do first? We're going to do my eyes. I want to do like a smoky, um, girl something. I'm going to do a smoky color, which is all about building up your eyes. But my brushes that I need to use are dirty. I have some more, so we're just going to use these. Um... Honey, our governor was like, and this is going to be in my blog, so some of this may be um, repetitive. Our governor was like, um, enough of this. School needs to open up. If your school isn't open, basically, if you're just doing virtual, you need to open up. So these kids need to go in person. I'm like, what about these teachers or what about these families like Miss Lori? They have to do virtual because she's high risk. Like three people that live in that house are high risk. He's like the our governor, Governor Douchey, is basically like, if you don't open, we're gonna we're gonna um, look into cutting um, funding for your schools. Come on, I mean there is no right or wrong reason for this, but give families options. There are some families that need to continue to do virtual. He's talking about the kids are suffering. The kids been suffering. Arizona is at the bottom when it comes to public education. We are at the bottom of the U.S. Uh, education system here sucks, which is one of the reasons why we were considering homeschooling anyway. I'm also sick of hearing people dying. Whew. Uh, what else is going on? Got JB's new curriculum, um, homeschooling curriculum, curriculum for math, and we switched over to Christian Light Education. Common Core, aka JB refers to it as common crap we're done with. Um, and so, yeah, I took everything out, was looking at everything. Unfortunately, we were probably be doing well we're gonna homeschool basically almost all year round i'm gonna give him a month break in the summer that's it because i don't want him to lose anything and also because we're going to be going back over some first grade and second grade so he's going to be going into third grade still with one foot in second grade and third grade as far as math goes um but mid-year right now i looked at the curriculum made some adjustments and going forward i expected this being at my first year of homeschooling and that's fine y'all if it was up to me and if i didn't have all these damn old credit cards and student loans i would be perfectly fine just homeschooling jb hell i would be fine with like homeschooling a bunch of kids um at home and we could do crafts together and I like that type of stuff, y'all. I mean, the kids in the neighborhood come over to the house. Like I, well, maybe y'all don't know, but the kids come over in the neighborhood. They come over to um, my house. They go between my house and Miss Lori's house all week, basically. But they mostly go over there. <laughs> Amazon is delivering a package. Come on, Keisha. Did I order something down? All the way over. See that? You see how I did that? Come on, girl. Come on and skin it and, and drop it off. Go ahead. What the hell is all this? these packages now? And then there's another guy here. I wanted to do this gold color. All those packages went to one house? That ain't fair. All right. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty. 
Oh, that's real pretty. That's pretty. Let me put some more down here though. Yeah, Macy's is closing over 200 stores. These stores, Macy's is closing over, closing over 200 stores. Then I heard that, what is that store? Um, is it The Gap or Old Navy? They're owned by the same company, I know. I believe it's The Gap is closing a couple of stores, right? Um, I have not been to The Gap or Old Navy. I used to always shop at the Old Navy, Old Navy in college. Girl, I haven't been there since. So, yeah, they're closing. And one of the malls here um, in Phoenix, Paradise Valley, the Macy's is closing. And that's a wrap. Um, that store, that mall is a dead mall anyway. So, yeah, it's a wrap for them. Okay, y'all, I need to blend this out now. I need to just really blend. And I can't see a damn thing. All right, y'all, let me figure out what I'm going to do now. I'm going to save the rest of my eyes for later on. I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and add my foundation. Now, I went to Walmart, and they had this um, Revlon on clearance for $2. And I know this is not my color, so I'm going to mix it. This mocha isn't really my color. Now I see why it's $2. The damn pumpkin. Well, watch it squirt out. I shouldn't do that. Okay, it's okay. Let me open it up. Girl, look at that. The damn pump. Ooh, see? The enemy came to seek and destroy. And he, he just destroyed the pump of my Revlon. Um, <laughs> YouTube. What I'm watching on YouTube, again, nobody. Nobody is entertaining me. I did catch Lovely T.I. video um, just to see, you know, who's doing what. But, uh, yeah, I've been too busy to be, you know, looking at YouTubers. Um, you know who I need to uh, need to follow up on to see how she's doing is what's her face? What's her name? What's her name, y'all? Shari J. Not follow up her, just check in on her. Has she posted, y'all? I don't think so. Yeah, that thing was dark. You see how that made me look dark, y'all? I mean, I don't mind that. Oh, girl. This is like, um, I'm doing brown face. Mm-mm. It's a little too dark. You see how that's a little too dark? You see how that really darkened me? I need to lighten it up. That's a little too dark. It's that mocha. See, this is when I need the spirit of Faith Evans to come on in here and kind of brighten up my forehead some. That's it. Oh, y'all, my camera cut off. And so now I'm done with this heavy-ass makeup, girl. Um, let's unravel my hair. Yeah, I used that bio-infusion. This bio-infusion product for this. You can't find this. I'm on Amazon, you can't. Bio-infusion curl pomade. I've only used this stuff twice and it's almost gone. This is the consistency. And you could just do a search for this. This is very similar to... Um, that curl pomade by Jane Carter. Um, so yeah, let's see what's going on with this hair girl. So let's just go ahead and unravel. All right, y'all. So like I said earlier, girl, looking at my 600 pound life, y'all, I'll be looking at this, that stuff while eating, you know, while they're eating a pound of bacon. Like literally these people, they will say, well, I only eat once a day, but what they're eating in at one time is a mouse, massive amount of food. So Back to watching that. Um, what else did I watch? Oh, I watched this movie on Netflix called Dangerous Lies. It was really good about this interracial couple. Um, the wife cares for this old man, and like scandalous stuff occurs throughout the movie. Hold on, y'all. Can you really see me? That's a little bit better. Okay. Um, let's see. Of course, in the morning while I'm watching, while I'm working, I like to watch. Um, it's the podcast. We're doing nothing. Hey, Professor Ogilvy. <laughs> yeah, that man is not cute to me. He's just okay. I mean, he's handsome. In my opinion, there's a difference between good looking, handsome, fine, and cute. And he's just handsome, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, watch that in the mornings while I'm working. 
Oh, uh, there was something. That, oh, back to watching Game of Thrones, but I can't get through. Y'all, it's, it's getting stale on certain stuff. I'm just on season three. Am I on season three? No, I'm on season two, episode five. Yeah, and it's getting a little stale, but I'm trying to stay stick with it though because i want to i want to want to really watch it um let's see start it at it your honor on hulu i had to add the showtime package i started the first episode girl my heart is racing so i, I had to stop i'm like i'm getting nervous <laughs> but i understand it's good i do let me pull up my netflix y'all what are y'all watching Oh, I added Lupin. I think it's French based. It is number two in the US right now on Netflix. Lupin about a black um jewelry jewelry heist. I added that because that looked good. Looked good, excuse me, but I'm pretty sure it's French and but you can dub it in English or whatever. Turn on the closed captions, girl. Dub it in English. Yeah, Dangerous Lies was good. Started to watch Virgin River, but I'm like, I'm not going to be able to do this. What else? What else? What else? Let me go over to my HBO, y'all, because I think they were still on HBO. It was so bad. Oh, added high note with, um, what's her face? Um, uh, Ice Cube and Tracy Ellis Ross. Oh, shall we dance? Oh, I'm gonna add Shall We Dance on here, y'all. Let me add this. I love Shall We Dance with um with I'm sorry with uh Jennifer Lopez, Richard Gere, and Susan Sarandon. Sorry. So yeah, the high note with Tracy Ellis Ross and Ice Cube about this star singer. I'm like, okay, so you you made a movie about your mama. Okay, so I started to watch Step, but then I got bored. Like I said, back to watching Game of Thrones. Um, Ready Player One, we started to watch. JB got bored. We stopped watching it. Um, let's see. The Flight Attendant, I got bored. So, y'all, I'm like that. If, I, if you don't catch my attention within the first... Child... His chubby butt on fell off the couch. That's why he started crying. Y'all, we have horror with floors. And the... <laughs> no, you gotta be careful because I remember one time he attacked me playing, and my head hit the the ground, and it hurt for a while. Yeah, you gotta be careful, especially with young children. So he fell off the couch and hit him. Hit his probably hit his head. Poor thing. My husband's like, what? Girl, man, my husband's like, how did you fall? Show me how you feel. You want him to, he's crying. You want him to reenact his fall. <laughs> man, stop. Yeah, what were we talking about? All right, girl, what, what am I looking at? So, I would never watch Prometheus again. Hell no. Oh, Snowpiercer, I'm going to start. So, yeah, those are, I have a lot of shows, y'all. So, Snowpiercer, definitely your honor. Um, Game of Thrones. Uh, the photograph I kind of want to watch because I think that man is fine. I cannot watch, watch for the undoing. Oh, you guys, I added a little princess. Do y'all remember a little princess from the, was it the 90s? The early 90s where the girl went to go live at an orphan and her daddy ended up being right next door being cared for, but he was like, his head was wrapped, wrapped or whatever. I love that movie. My sister and I would watch that movie. I think there was one summer where we watched that movie almost every week. A Little Princess. So, yeah, that's what I'm watching. I'm going to finish getting ready and we can just talk, girl. Um, oh, yeah, 2021. I don't know about this hoe. <laughs> just acting the Full. but you know what I know one thing I went through I just I'm on my last thing of tissue paper that I stockpiled from way back in July it's time it's time to start stockpiling again yeah I'm, I'm, I'm getting the urgency to start up again so when I start going back to the stores Girl, so what was I talking about? It's time to start stockpiling again. Yeah, so I, my goal is to always have at least six to eight months worth of supplies. I still have plenty of water. I haven't gone through my water. I may need to get a couple more gallons. But now when I go to the grocery store, since they don't have um, 
I don't have to be greedy, but I'm, I will make sure to get at least three packages of tissue paper whenever I go. Food we're good on. Actually, we may need to start stockpiling food again, too. Y'all, my husband thinks that he's like, if we don't be careful, it's gonna, it may be a civil war. I'm like, please don't say that. I've, he's not the first person to mention that. My good Judy Nick, he said, baby, I am too old and gay to uh, for a civil war. <laughs> I said, child, <laughs> who you telling? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm not just because I feel that there's a war coming, but something, something is, is in array, you know what I mean? But it's always good to have extra supplies. So yeah, y'all start stockpiling again, stockpiling, excuse my language, um, especially on your tissue paper, your paper goods, um, make sure you have plenty of water, canned goods, cause you never know what's going to happen with the way that, you know, this election is gone and the storming on the Capitol. I talked about that on my vlog, so we're gonna be talking about that here, but you just don't know what's going to happen now. It's just so, America is just, it's like Babylon. That's yeah. what you know. <sighs> Done, hair, makeup, I'm show y'all my outfit. I want my dress to fit in more. Yeah. Oh. I want this dress, this dress is too big. Oh, especially since I'm losing weight. All right, y'all. That is it. Bye.